Hello! Uh, for my second device sensor, I chose to use Unity and to support uh, multi-touch. Um, so let's go look at the code first. And we're going to want to actually undo something here. But okay, so this is my update firing method, which is called from my update method for the player. Um, so every frame, it's already checking a, uh, a fire timer, and if, if enough time elapses, we do our, our weapon fire. And what this does depends on what the current player's um, weapon upgrade state is at that time. Uh, and this has always been in the game. Uh, here's the new stuff. So I'm checking if the player uh, has touched more than one location. The first location that the player touches is always being used for uh, movement. If they touch a multiple locations, they touch a second location, then we're going to possibly do a super attack. I say possibly because the super attacks have a cost. Um, this is just so that you can't continually do this and win the game very easily. Um, the cost is a uh, score. So you, you, every time you use the super attack, it costs a little bit of score or points. Um, and you can see I'm reducing their score based on this variable. And I'm also testing that they can afford to spend it before we even do the super attack. So let's go take a look what's happening there. So do super attack. I wanted it to just fire a projectile at all every enemy that's currently on the screen. So this method starts by getting all of the enemies. All of the enemies in the game have this uh, collision tag, enemy ship. So I can find all the objects with that tag. And then I'm going to iterate through all of those objects representing all of my enemies. Uh, for each of the enemies, I'm going to get a vector between uh, the player's location and the enemy's location and normalize that as I'm just interested in the direction. Uh, that direction will be the direction I want to fire my projectile in. Um, so for the code that already existed for firing a projectile doesn't take a direction, though. It takes a quaternion representing an orientation, so I had to build that based off this direction. Um, so I basically build a new quaternion, and I set it to be a rotation from where the player is currently facing um, to the enemy direction I, I want to aim at. And then I use my already existing f method for firing a projectile and that rotation I created to fire a projectile at the current enemy. So, um, well this worked out all fairly easy. Uh, the um, I can't actually emulate, whoops, did not mean to do that. Cancel, 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 go away, go away. No, we don't want to save any of that. Try one more time. Um, just go to that function. Sorry. Um, as I was saying, I can't actually emulate multi-touch on my PC. Uh, it is checked in. You can get the APK and try it out yourself. Um, just to prove that this method does work. In theory, though, I'm going to go ahead and comment out this check. So now every frame it will uh, do my super attack, and we can see that. Of course, my uh, score is going to become negative over time. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, I've also changed the name um, from Full Sail Shooter to Full Space. Uh, didn't want any uh, correlations with things that might uh, be correlated with with the old name, so I'll not talk more about that. Let's depart for space, and we can see right away I'm firing a bunch of projectiles. Because, as hopefully we remember, every frame it's doing my super attack. And my super attack is finding every, or ev not every frame, every time it is, uh, enough time is pa threshold time has passed for firing attack, fires my super attack, the super attack then fires a projectile at every enemy on screen. Um, it doesn't aim at the meteors, which is not to say it doesn't collide with them, so sometimes it hits a meteor instead of the enemy, but um, that's interesting too. So, there it is. I hope you enjoyed.